everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video we will see how can we run our agents locally it means we will be using openai swarm framework but still we will not be paying anything to openai we will not be utilizing openai api key and we will be running everything locally on our machine so if you have not seen my earlier video which was on swarm let me quickly spend few minutes to talk about that so this was the github repo of the swarm which we have already walked through so here if you will take a look there is a code sample given here and we have already seen this code sample we have tweaked this code sample and created our own sample but the thing which i want to show you here is the source code so right now if you will look at the source code which is code.py and this is the main part where everything is getting triggered so here you can see that it is supporting openai it means by default it supports only openai and there is no other way we can do it because they are constructing uh, they are utilizing openai instance to create the client object so it means that if we want to create our own client object with our own ai model then in that case we may have to we have to get rid of this particular portion so instead of open ai we will be having our own model instance so for that we will see how we can do that but before that just have a look at it and see that this is the client object which we need to tweak and we need to pass in now the major question here is how can we create this client object or how can we pass it over here because of course we are not going to change the source code provided in this github repo but we can tweak the client code which we have written on our site so in order to achieve this so if we are not using open ai uh, api key then what we can use so in that case we can go with olama which is again a very wonderful utility i would say and here uh, if you will look at this post which was published very recently which is july 25th and here they have extended the support to tools so now, now they are supporting tools as well so it means that we can use olama for our agenting capabilities and especially when we want to inject and interact uh, with tools and the most beautiful part is they do support open ai now if you will look at this particular code they are saying that if you want to use olama with open ai what you can do is you just need to change the base url and as an api key you need not to provide the open ai key here you can just give this name olama and you are good to go it means that if we are going with olama we will not be using open ai key it means we are not paying anything to the open ai and here you can see this particular url so this is the default url which gets generated whenever you are running olama on your local machine so if you have some other settings due to firewall or something and you are having different port number then feel free to change it but this is the standard and the default uh, url which gets generated and here you need to supply the olama uh, the model which you want to use from olama now this is the one change which we are going to do second thing is we want to know which all models we can use if we are not using like gpt models from the open ai directly then what all we can use so this is again here you can search for the tools and you will get all the models listed here which supports tooling right now and here you can see it is tagged with the tools so that is again another way to know whether that support uh, to model supports tooling or not so you can pick any one of these model which are works best for you and once you have selected this model you can just click on it and you can define the parameters now you could be having gpu cpu or whatever the configuration you are having accordingly you can choose how many parameters do you want to take because more the parameters the more uh, resource requirement it would be so you can choose this and then uh, we are good to go with our basic configuration now let me move back to my visual studio code so again if i will show you this thingy so this was the code which we have done earlier so let me show you from the top itself so this is the key don't worry about it i have already removed it but we were setting this open ai key in the environment variable and we were just taking the installing the swarm using this git repo 
and this was the basic sample which we worked so what we were saying earlier we were creating an agent and we were providing some instruction that you can format the text in a more professional way and whenever we are giving this particular kind of text we were getting this output now this demo was done using like i said open ai now if you want to tweak it to work with the olama how can we do that so let's go ahead and utilize olama for the model llama index and i will show you how we can do that so this is my updated code the one thing i have the only change i have done over here is so all these things will still remain same and this is the code which i have pulled it from the olama uh, documentation which i have just shown you so what you need to do is you need to provide the base url and you need to provide your api key as olama and then while constructing the swarm object here we can pass in the client so i think instead of this we can better name it client so earlier we were not passing anything we were just taking this empty constructor but now this time we will be passing the client which is in our case is uh, relying on the olama and if you will run the same code let me execute this one so and here note that i have not used any open ai key now uh, before executing this one thing i need to highlight is how will you in case if you are new and don't know how you can run uh, like olama server on your local machine so for that what you can do is you can go to command prompt or what are the terminal you are using and here i will quickly go to the path so this is the i need to get into that path so i will just say this and if i will say dir what i'm trying to do is i am getting into the virtual directory so that i can pull that uh, llama 3 to 1 billion model onto my local machine so that's the process i'm doing right now so i'm on to my this uh, local directory where my source code is because everything i want to do in the same virtual directory so let's activate the virtual environment first that is scripts folder and here i need to say activate and on the left hand side you can see that we are inside our virtual environment now inside our virtual environment now we can go ahead if you have dependencies definitely you can install it from here but in our case we have already installed it through visual studio so no need to replicate that but the next thing is we need to pull in that model so for pulling the model what you need to do is uh, you need to grab this particular name this should be the exact name of the model which you selected i'm sorry so this is the actual name which we have selected so i will go back to my command prompt here and i will simply say olama pull and the model name which like i said it should match exactly so in my case i have already downloaded it that's why it just finished in a moment but for you it may take few minutes and once everything is done till here we are good to go and make a call to this model using our visual studio code so getting started with the code here i am setting this model just a variable to hold my model and let me run this okay and the next thing what i am doing here is like i said here i need to set the base url and the api key then i am passing that particular client object to the swarm so i am telling the swarm framework that don't go with the default implementation rather rely on the one which i just created and the most important part here is note that we are still going with the open ai we have not created any other class or the instance and this code is still the same so let's see if it can answer the question for us so i'm going to run it and here you can see that we got the response and it is saying it sounds like you are expressing your excitement about the weather and this is the entire statement so it tried to rephrase what we said so we said today is a very sunny day and anyone would love it so this is how it is rephrased it now there are few more lines of code which you can definitely execute it and by any chance if you don't know what these function are 
uh, functions are or what I have done here, I would recommend you to watch my earlier videos in which I mentioned about how you can get started with OpenAI Swarm. I will provide that link in the description section, but uh, I'm not going to discuss this again, the every single thing what we have written over here. But the overall idea here is in order to utilize the Swarm framework without API key, you just need to grab the model name from the Olama and just pull it inside your terminal and once that is done the only matter or the only thing which you need to do is set up the API, API key and the base URL and once this is done I think we are good to go so I hope you enjoyed running this and do let me know in comments if this is working for you or not thanks for watching